good day welcome this is your daily med with a lady v today's lesson proverbs chapter 27 verse 1 we'll also look at james chapter 4 verses 13 through 15 God is saying today, let him make the plans for our life. So Proverbs 27 and verse 1, it says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. And as we look at James chapter 4, verse 13 through 15. Some of you say, today or tomorrow, we will go to some city. We will stay there a year, do business and make money. Listen, think about this. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. Your life is like a fog. You can see it for a short time, but then it goes away. So you should say, if the Lord wants, we will live and do this or do that. Verse 16 says, but now you are proud and boast about yourself. All such boasting is wrong. If you fail to do what you know is right, then you are sinning. So here today, we are saying, let God plan your life. A little further, we will see a rich young man who did not allow God to plan his life in the book of St. Luke chapter 12 16 through 21 and it cost him so we have biblical examples today that show to us that we should allow God to make the plans for our life. Why? No one is sure of tomorrow. Therefore, we should not boast about all that we will do as we will see the rich young ruler today. We see in this proverb that it is trying to tell us that God alone is sovereign man is short-sighted he doesn't have the long all of how things will take place in life but as we often say God knows the end and he knows it at the beginning what the end of each person's life would be so because only God knew what will happen tomorrow. Then we should put our life in his hands and choose his plans rather than our plans. Yes, we should still make plans. But it means that we trust in God. And therefore, we do not offer to worry about tomorrow or get all upset when things does not happen the way that we planned it. God has a plan. He has a purpose. He has a blueprint. He is the master architect of our lives. Therefore, we should allow him to have his way and his plan. Why? The believer's life does not belong to 
him or herself, but his life belongs to God. We often sing, I am not my own, I belong to Jesus. We have been bought with a price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says we should not boast. We should not continue to say what we will do only if God would allow it. So a person who thinks that he or she has the control of the things or the changes that they want to make in life or for the future outcome will boast how such one accomplishes what he or she does or have. When things especially fall into place, but the Bible refers to such person as a fool, one who relies on himself, on his own arrogance, and not on God and his wisdom. The opposite of boasting is being humble or humility. Therefore, the believer in Christ that accommodates the schedule of God and his timing, his plans, is one who has humbled himself or herself under the sovereign mighty and of God. We see when we read James chapter 4 verse 13 through 15, the things we have to do or need to do. James says, what should we do or say? Say if God will permit us to do it. The Bible is also warning us from this passage, the concept of procrastination. And truly when we look at procrastination, procrastination is sin. What is it? Let's say God has given us something to do today. He wants us to accomplish it today, not tomorrow, not next week, not some other time. Therefore, if we as the believer in Christ decide, I do not want to do it today, but I want to accomplish it some other time, we are actually procrastinating and is actually sinning against God. Therefore, the believer in Christ must not boast that he has a tomorrow because that tomorrow for some may never come. Many people have good plans. Things that they decided that they will do eventually. But guess what happened? Not knowing that other things would have happened in life. Which takes us to the story in St. Luke chapter 12 verse 16 through 21 about the rich young ruler. It says, Then Jesus used this story. There was a rich man who had some land. His land grew a very good crop of food. He thought to himself, that will I do. I have no place to keep all my crops. He was getting wealthier and wealthier. Then he said, I know what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger barns. I will put all my wheat and good things together in my new barns. Then I will say to myself, I have many good things stored 
I have saved enough for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and enjoy life. But God says to that man, foolish man, tonight you will die. So what about the things you have prepared for yourself? Who will get those things now? This is how it will be for anyone who saves things only for himself. To God, that person is rich. Not rich, but to God, that person is a fool. What is the Bible saying? We do not know what tomorrow will bring. Therefore, we should allow God to plan our lives. God bless you today. Thank you again for watching and may God bless the United States of America.